<laughs> but yeah, so I am from the Midwest, I'm from Wisconsin, and I have tried desperately to eradicate my accent uh, because there's no better way to tell people that you're super approachable and probably a hugger and definitely a little bit racist, but it's not your fault because there's just no black people there, except in Chicago, and that place is dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> because she doesn't speak Spanish and little did she know I'd one day move to California and become a Hispanic male. <laughs> well, see, <I'm> from <laughs> uh, um, don't get me wrong, like the Midwest is a beautiful place to grow up. Thank you. Yeah, like every time Google Maps is like or like every Uber driver is like looks at me like Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> which is also funny. Oh wow, well, I wasn't planning this, but I think it's funny aside. Uh, my phone calls me Ernie, which is my uncle's name. Uh, I don't know why. I had to have a really serious conversation with Siri where I was like, Siri, please stop calling me Ernie. That's not my name. They're like, okay, Ernie, what would you like me to call you? <laughs> Siri, my name is Jamie, but it's like spelling like Jaime, but it's Jamie. And she's like, okay, Jaime. And I'm like, it's a fucking nightmare. It's a nightmare, guys. Uh, it's fine. Uh, anyway, don't get me wrong, the, the Midwest is a great place to grow up, it's very safe, it's very fun, I get to go outside a lot, uh, but I'm not going back there and you can't make me. Um, not just because it's like very cold for half of the year or because everyone eats cheese and I'm lactose intolerant and will shit my pants if I eat another cheese curd. I literally almost happened to you once. You guys, it was a real emergency situation. Never felt less in control of my bowels than when I ate half a thing of cheese curds without a lactate pill. Um, anyway, the point is, I can't go back because I don't want to date anybody there. I just don't want to date, like, let me, I, like, I hate every comic talks about Tinder or whatever, but there's no better way to illustrate the difference between, like, L.A. guys and Wisconsin guys. Because, like, L.A. Tinder, like, every guy's got their modeling photo or their acting headshot. Or, like, if they're not in the industry, they at least are, like, out to brunch or surfing. or like, wearing a beanie and playing a guitar like a douchebag. <laughs> and everyone laughs at that because we all know that person. And some of us know that person before they became the douchebag, the, like, beanie-wearing, guitar-playing person. And, like, they were probably, like, the bully in high school. And then their senior year, they learned to play a Jack Johnson song on the guitar and brought it to party. And they became sensitive. And they started drinking tea and doing yoga. And I'm like, Garrett Schultz. You are the same person that took a dollar and a piece of dog shit and rolled it up and left it out in front of Kmart for old ladies to pick up and you are still that person deep down in your soul and I don't think you can remove that no matter how many Jack Johnson songs you learn. I don't believe you. Fuck you, Garrett. All right, it's fine. Uh, so like, those, there's those people. Um, and then, and then, uh, <laughs> sorry, this is a real person. <laughs> then there's like Wisconsin people. I went to Green Bay last fall for a Packers game uh, and was like, I wonder what I'm missing out on here. Uh, and it turns out it's a lot of dead trophy animals and terrible facial hair. Uh, like could not find a picture without someone holding up like a bass they were really proud of catching. <laughs> or like with like a goatee that looked kind of like Sugar Ray, like early 2000s. <laughs> uncles as 25 year olds like I don't, I don't want that and I can't date anyone from the south uh, uh, my dad is from the south mom you really fucked up uh, it's okay, it's okay. Um, and, and if I'm being perfectly honest like I also want a guy who knows his way around a vagina um, you know because I've been finding myself in this situation too often recently you're Muslim <clears throat> down on me, um, but he, he starts like roving around a little bit, and eventually he ends up at my butthole, and like licks it a couple of times, but the licks are so tentative that I have to ask myself, like, is he being adventurous, or is he just lost? <laughs> because I'm pretty sure it's the latter, and pretty soon I'm going to have to start drawing maps, because <laughs> I'm just kidding frustrating for me. And when I say the other day, I mean months ago. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> uh, like, guys, you really don't know how lucky you have it. Like, the penis is a very straightforward sexual organ, all right? Like, no one's like, oh, where do I touch it? Oh, you're like, grab it. Just fucking do whatever. <laughs> Show me the guy who can make
make that happen. <laughs> I'm sorry, if that had literally happened to me ever, then you can complain about it. Uh, but I think you take a lot of things for granted. Like guys are always like, ooh, whiskey dick, that sucks. Like, like I think that is a gift. Okay, you don't know how lucky you are that you can have whiskey dick. I wish so badly that whiskey vagina was a thing. <laughs> because like I could be at a bar and turn a guy down and he wouldn't be mad about it. I'd be like, I'm so sorry, I drink too much. It's not gonna work. <laughs> so drunk, it's not working. I can't. I'm sorry. And like no one would call you a bitch because they'd be like, oh I guess it wasn't gonna happen. Like if whiskey vagina was a real thing, like fraternities would have to completely revisit their strategies for picking up women. <laughs> <laughs> they wouldn't be able to get them wasted at parties anymore. They'd get home and be like... <laughs> <laughs> I assume it would just be clammed shut. Like, this is how that would have to work. It's like, oh, pry it open. I can't. <laughs> like, think of how many sexual assaults we could prevent. Oh, my God. It would be amazing. We could also prevent them by men not being creeps. <laughs> just don't do it. Uh, anyway, sorry. <laughs>